Yeah, Kendrick Lamar, you're short. Fuck you. All right, there goes the verse. Time to go to sleep. Remember you was conflicted. Misusing your influence. Oh my fucking god. Oh, that's hilarious. That's, that's hilarious. Somewhere in the world is J. Cole. That's him trying to sleep at night after putting out the disc. <laughs> Woo! The fucking family is feuding. What's going on? Thank y'all guys for tuning in with me as always, man. So, but look, 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 man. I feel like with like the big three right now with them feuding, like this really, I want to address the fan bases. I feel like all of y'all, me included, are bullshit and being overtly biased. Like, never did I ever imagine the fan base of J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar to be so freaking contradicting. Like, <laughs> here they are talking about uh, Kendrick never put out boring music. J. Cole has no right to say that. Like, when the Pimp the Butterfly came out, like, to Pimp a Butterfly, people are acting like museum music was not trending on black Twitter when he put that shit out. Like, literally, people were tweeting, every artist is allowed to have an experimental album. But, forget that. Let me just hop right into the topics that I actually want to talk about. So, I want to talk about, like, coolness the coolness of rap and what i think about when it comes to all three so starting with j cole i think when it comes to like j cole and it comes to like the cool factor of rap j cole comes off like he's trying to prove that he is the best of the, the three of lyricism bar going at you like he do this shit like he sleep fucking rap music like it's his arena y'all boys don't want to make it about ba for ba for ba y'all better make it about hooks choruses all that other shit but not rapping like that's j cole's like his his factor his coolness of rap like you know it's kind of a bit of a like you know, I want to take everybody on. I'm trying to prove it. Like, I would say, like, um, you know, when it comes to lyricism and the essence of rap, you know, he appeals to the anger of people, you know, like the social placement of black people in America, you know, at the bottom of the totem pole. And he's saying, you know, I don't belong there. Like, he doesn't like the social hierarchy and he doesn't like being at the bottom of the big three. Like, you know, it's, it's even like, you know, it's this whole thing running around now. Like, I deserve to be at the top. I have the crown. And it's like, you know, it's, the, it's kind of the same thing. You, know, you get you get that essence of black people in America. Like, you know, we created this. We're the cool factor. People follow everything that we do. We don't belong to be, we don't deserve to be at the bottom of the totem pole. But you are. Well, we are. Like, that's just the fact of it. It's like, does J. Cole deserve to be at the bottom of the big three? No. But is he truly at the bottom? Is he number three? Is he Chris Bosch? Yes, he is. Even though I got him at two, I would still say, like, J. Cole is probably three. He's really three. Like, I, the only reason I put him at two for me personally is because he puts out more music than Kendrick. And I think the Kendrick is like, you know, he's a great, cool employee, but he never shows up to work. I just can't count on him. <laughs> I can't. I cannot, bro. I cannot. So, like, when I, so that's what I think about with, like, Cole and the coolness of him and his rap. Now, Kendrick. Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar coolness of rap. Like, um, you know, Kendrick rap like he trying to kill everybody. You know, he not really trying to be cool. You know, he just is him, you know. You know, he's like, like he really pulls from that 90s, that early 2000s era of rap, that beef, that battle, that I wanna go at you, that ether, that that 50 versus everybody. And it's like, that makes a lot of sense because it's like, he's kind of the boogeyman of rap to a degree. It's like, I mean, he did say everyone's name on control and a few people, you know, they responded. But if you look at it over the years, no one's never truly said his name. And it's like, uh-oh, shh, be quiet. Don't say it too loud, he might appeal. 
like that's Kendrick's coolness of rap that like you know he truly embodies like I want to go at everybody like the best way to prove that I'm the best of the big three like we got to go at each other we got to challenge one another and that makes a lot of sense especially for you know we which is the same era it's the same reason why you know Bron some people say he's not the GOAT because he doesn't do what Kobe he doesn't do what Mike do like he's just simply he doesn't truly, truly have that, I'm taking the last shot, you know what it is, like, I'm better than everybody, flat out, like, Drake doesn't do that, like, he, he does and he doesn't, like, you know, Drake is more like, uh, cool, melodic, sing here and there, like, you know, he let his work say it for him, versus, like, you know, Braun kind of let his work say it for him, but these two, you can't deny, like, if it's, if it's, like, two, 20 seconds left in the game, you need a bucket, these motherfuckers going for it. They letting you know they're gunning for it. So it's like Kendrick, you know, his coolness, you know, he really appeals to people in rap that want that, like, to go at each other, to battle. That's how you prove you're the best. And, um, you know, it's just a call out to Nostalgic Times. But when it comes to, like, Drizzy. Drizzy, like, coolness of rap. Um... I would say, you know, Drake rap like he the coolest in the room. You know, he isn't really rapping to seek approval. He's not, honestly, he's just rapping to rap. And his rap is more of like, he showcases his disapproval of everyone else in the game. You know, he showcases like how he isn't impressed with anyone, how like they fail to bring bars that truly like submit that I need to even say anything back. You know, he, he said bars like, um, your album feel like a fire drill, the shit feel real, but it's just not, you know, like he always pokes fun at like other rappers about how like you guys just really aren't that good. And honestly, Drake, Drake has the ability, even though I would say like women, are a true, true pillar of Drake's like fan base. He knows how to call women bitch without using the word bitch, and that's that's pretty like that's pretty. I mean, it's because you know it's rap, it's appealing to be able to say things without saying the similes, metaphors, and uh, Drake coolness of rap is just that like he isn't trying to prove to you that he's cool he he truly doesn't want your approval he he feels like you know he's self-made like to him he really believes like he started from the bottom like you know he remembers when he wasn't picked he wasn't chosen and he made himself who he is he doesn't care if you approve of him he doesn't care if you disapprove of him he knows he made himself and you can't take that from him or give it to him and, it, you know, that, that that definitely appeals to a lot of people who listen to rap because, you know, rap is just, you know, it's about smelling your own shit, you know, being proud of who you are. So, you know, that's that's like the coolness that all of them brings. Like Cole, is, he's like, a, he truly is the middle child. Like he has to prove it. Like he wants to prove it too. He's like, oh, I, 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 do, I do this. This is what I'm good at. And, you know, it's more like Kung Fu Kenny. He's all like... I'm ready to go with any, anybody. What y'all say? Huh? Y'all ain't say my name. And then Drake is just like, you know, he walks in the room. He got on shades at night. You know, it's dark. And this motherfucker is just over here, like, doing a Jamaican accent, having fun and shit. <laughs> but it's like, that, like, each of them bring the coolness to it. And I think, um, you know, it's fans. Fans try to take that away from, uh, fans try to downplay other artists for like what they bring to the table and what don't, and what they, what they don't bring to the table. And it's just like, don't be, don't be like, don't be a liar. Don't be a liar. Don't try to lessen your competition for your fave. Like, that's just, that's just lame, bro. Bro, that's just truly just lame. That's not hip hop at all whatsoever. Like, at the end of the day, like, you, you guys got to recognize we're just spectators. Well, another, another like, genre, a topic in rap that gets, like, it's heavily weighed upon that gets brought up a lot is, um, oh, he's influential. Oh, he's the most influential. He's a great artist at this. He, he His music is deep. His music makes you think. It's about something much bigger going on. Um, I'm not going to hold you. That's some real lame pretentious shit. Like, oh, my mama, that's just some real lame, pretentious shit. It's like, what the fuck does that, like, what the fuck does that even do? Like, um, like what really, what the fuck does that even do? Like, oh, he, he makes smart people music? Don't act like you motherfuckers listening to Mozart. Don't act like y'all knew what uh, Lacrimosa was before all the rappers hopped on it and made it that one song. You know, like, just... 
it's rap we get it rap in, in itself is like to be to be at the stage to where this many people listen to your music like there are millions of us it's like that listen to rap like the your assemblies your your cadence your flow everything about you has to have some type of like you you pulled it from somewhere and it's like to try to give it to try to like oh yo because you know he, he he's making his is he was really talking about this you know the apple was a, a reflection of society and you're trying to live forever you took a bite out of it now you're really gonna die like shut the fuck up shut the fuck up like that shit don't got like that shit that that's no motherfucker no motherfucking rapper could ever say i make smart music and you would want to listen to it you think that help your fave you saying some goofy shit like that be fucking for real. So, like, my problem with like, with, like, you know, he's more influential is, you know, the problem is like, it's fickle. You know, rap is highly contradicting. It's a highly contradicting genre. So, you know, my problem with like rap is that like, rap, rap is like, it's a very, very contradicting genre. Cause you could have the same artist outside of like their music and what they push, what they want to promote as a person. They, they want to say shit like, um, stop the violence, you know, stop the killing, put the guns down. But on their album, all they talk about is sliding and killing and I'm the big dog, I get you away. And it's like, that's rap. And like, even people will be like, oh, you know, Future is more influential than Drake. Oh, you know, Chief Keef is more influential than Drake. Kanye is more influential than Drake. And I think you really have to just... That has to be weighed. Like seriously, like what the fuck is the influence of a future? To be 40, still making turn up music? Like my man said, you know, I'm young Freddie Cool, I promote prostitution. Like you got Chief Keith, like the biggest the biggest legacy and influence that Chief Keith probably made is like truly honestly, is dissing the dead. Like that boy was 15 years old and they killed him and he turned it into like, people think it was, they thought it was a strain of weed for a long time. And that boy was 15 years old. Like, that's crazy. Like, you want to say like influence, he's more influential, but like, okay, what was the influence? Be serious. It's like, like, yeah, Kanye had a great influence of sampling music and bringing back soulful sounds. But if you really think about it, you got artists like Prince. Prince was very influential when it came to writing music and putting it out at a high volume. And he had a harsh criticism of samples. You know, he hated it. He thought that at his core, it was really just stealing and grifting. And I, I kind of get what he's saying. Because, you know, nowadays, you know, it's so many songs that's just, they're not even trying to like, just pull a little bit here and there. It's like, they're just taking songs that, you know, are, are regular old, you know, classic songs that play at the barbecue or whatever. And they just rapping over it, just fucking it up. Like, uh, your secrets are safe with me. She a good girl from me, she a slit. Backstab with my thumb and her butt. Back to fight, she can't tear this whole nut. She gon' put this boy right on her plate, eat it up. I mean, man, I'm telling folks now. Your secrets. Man, I'm telling folks now. Your secrets are safe with me. He talking about sticking a thumb in the butt on that shit. So when y'all be saying like, you know, he's more influential, it's like, you got to really understand, like, are you really, are you really helping your fave when you say shit like that? Like, what the fuck is your fave influence? Like, I get it. Kendrick Lamar influence. Kendrick Lamar has the same influential path as Tupac, but it's not as big. It's just not like J. Cole, the same influence as Nas, but it's just not as big. It's just not, you know, Drake, you know, same influential. Like you could be a rapper and you could sing and be emotionally available and open, but it's just not the same impact or influence that Kanye had. Love 808 hip hop. It's just, it's just not. It's like, you got to be serious with it. It's just rap. Rap fans are just, sometimes you guys are just so, like, shit, me too. We just full of shit. <laughs> we full of shit. Be serious with yourself, bro. Like for real. When 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 Cole said um to pimp a butterfly, motherfuckers gassed it. He didn't lie. He didn't lie. He didn't lie. And then you got all these people coming out of woodwork saying it's the best rap album of all time. Uh 
play the play the play the play the clip with the numbers. Like, look at this. Let's pull up the YouTube. Let's pull up the streams. Let's see. Are Kendrick fans even listening to Pimp a Butterfly? Okay, so here we are to Pimp a Butterfly, Kendrick Lamar official YouTube. We got we have up his charts already screenshot. So let's look at this. For all these people saying like this is one of the best albums ever and they really love it, honestly, I don't think people actually listen to this album. Like King Kunta for free. Like Deeds Walls, twenty four, like God's Gangster, twenty two, like one hundred and seventy one, all right, like Come on, man. That's like a, a commercial song. Like, I like the song. I love it. Like, clearly, I listen to it. But like all these other songs, y'all not listening to these songs. Y'all are not listening to these songs. Like, it's not adding up. How could this be like the best album ever made if they're not even listening to it? Not on like, they're listening to his oh, oh, oh shit. Good Kid, Mad City. Damn. And it's not adding up. Like, people aren't even listening to this shit. Like, what? Be serious. I don't think you guys are. I think you guys are full of shit. The Pulitzer, the Grammy, no one gives a fuck. All right, I'm going to be fair. Because Cole dropped this album December 9th, 2014. Now, let's see how this one compares to something that won a Pulitzer. That means so much to you guys. 15 million on the intro. Nine. 227 million. Okay, 5.4. 13. Nine. Almost 10, 2, 179, 213, 104, 185, 29. Like, the lowest one is like, bro, be serious. He has songs that's more than that entire album, like, on YouTube. And I got the screams. Like, look at the screams. It's, like, right there. Clearly, the people that like J. Cole, they listen to J. Cole. It got to be Cap to say that you're listening to... To pimp a butterfly. No one is listening to that shit. Numbers don't fucking lie. Fuck the pride too. Numbers lie too. Loving you is complicated. You know, like, like one thing like that people really harp on about Drake. They try to, they try to take his credit away. They try to destroy him. So they like, you know, they're trying to make him shorter so that other their favorites stand higher. Like, you know, because he makes R and B music. He makes experimental music. Uh, you know, it was Eminem. I think he was one of the first rappers that took that format instead of saying, like, I'm going to have this R&B singer sing my hook and I'm going to do it myself like that. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Or even, you know, some other songs that, that Eminem got, you know, you could see the influence that it had, like 50 Cent. I don't know if you guys remember, but I was around when 50 was coming up and, um, a lot of the a lot of the, the uh, harsh criticism of him from the other rap guys at the time, you know, was that he's not a rapper. He's just a melodic hook guy. He's not a real rapper. And it's just like they were just so fucking bitter that someone else came in the game like thug like them, street like them. And he did something that he didn't he didn't need their approval of it. And, you know, Drake does the same thing. Like, he doesn't care. Like, if he's going to, like, he listened to Wayne. It's like we forget. Like, y'all, like, we forget. Like, Wayne was doing a Jamaican accent. He's not Jamaican. Like, 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 Blim, Drake was doing a Jamaican accent. It was like, you know, people try to act like they don't like R&B Drizzy. But, like, at the same time, they, like, when they do acknowledge R&B Drizzy, they try to act like he doesn't have rap tracks. And that he can't rap, that he's just a, 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 a the bigger artist. And that's just simply, um, that's just simply an ass pool. That's like a real ass pool. Like fan bases can be so biased. Let's read off this list of rap songs that Drizzy got that's actually him rapping. So, um, Drake got songs like uh, showing his lyrical ability. He got 4 p.m. in Calabasas, Tusk and Leather, Redemption, Lemon Paper, The Ride, Lord Knows, Light Up, Too Much, Emotionless, Is There More, Vital, When to Say When, Losses, Pipe Down, The Remorse, 
middle of the ocean, successful, say what's real, the calm, stay scheming, gold roses, do not disturb, lose you, jaded, dreams money can buy, how about now, 5 a.m. in Toronto, champagne poetry, fair trade, 30 for 30, Wu-Tang Forever, Pound Cake, Omaretta, Diplomatic Community, and I'm not even gonna go in and say like all the features, his feature runs, but like just know this one only had, this list only had two feature, Drizzy features. And I didn't even go off naming all of the the timestamps that he had. Like, I think I like, like the biggest thing, like when people try to say, you know, he can't rap for real, it's just bullshit. And you're not doing your favor, you're, I'm gonna keep, you're not doing your favor favor by trying to act like it doesn't exist. Because Drake can rap so fucking good and he can show that like, it's not just a fluke that I did this. Like he can clearly do it. When he put out those extra songs on um, For All The Dogs, like he clearly displayed like he can fucking rap. And that in itself, like, you know, it kind of like, you know, it's, it hurts him still because he refuses to give his fandom um, a just 12 to 15 rap track. And that, that in itself is like, he does what he want and you have to accept that because we're spectators. Who the fuck is we, or you, or me, to motherfucking say what he's supposed to do or what he gotta do? At the end of the day, all we could do is watch. You know what he said, who do you think you are? I am. All you motherfuckers could do is watch. I appreciate all the fans I had. Hate me or love me. You watched, that's all you could do. Thank you. It's like sometimes it's just like, you're not helping your fave by trying to diminish the competition. Like, um, the Kendrick fans, you're not helping your fave trying to act like J. Cole put out, uh, he's the only one that put out bad albums. Like, to pimp, a, to pimp a butterfly, they want a poster, but let's be real, no one gives a fuck about a poster. Not in rap, I don't give a fuck about a poster. I don't, like, this is the generation, we don't give a fuck about a Grammy. Like, we don't even give a fuck about a Grammy. I don't need, like, I'm not gonna hold you, like, it's to the point to where it's like, you know, the Grammys, like they only give like best rap album to people that's black. And it's like, at the same time, it's like, even the artist itself would be like, damn, like I'm not even a rapper. Like y'all just put me in this category cause I'm black. It's like, what the fuck does a Grammy mean? What the fuck does a poster mean? Like we're, we're, we're black people. Like, and you know, black people music, rap, hip hop, we're literally trying to break free of the monolithic stereotype cast. Like we like this, we like that, we like, like Everyone wants to get a fucking experimental like album off. Like I ain't gonna hold you. Kiss on drug. That shit was ass. That shit was horrible. Like I understand why the kids do drugs. I ain't gonna hold you, Cole. That was a fucking miss. On my mama, that was a fucking miss. Uh for your eyes only. That shit won for my ears. That shit that shit must not been for me. That, much, that shit must not have been for me. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. But Drake too. Drake, Drake, Drake not immune to it. Drake not immune to it. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, honestly, never mind. They, every artist gets one experimental album. I love Drake. Drake, my favorite fucking rapper. But I ain't gonna sit up here and act like honestly never mind didn't get deleted off my phone. I deleted that shit. I ain't like it. I ain't like it. I ain't gonna sit up here and act like he didn't make it. He ain't put it out. I ain't gonna act like my fave didn't do that. I get it. You you want to experiment. You know you want to make it. You know you, you brave. You know it's your thing. You know, but come the fuck on. I like don't act like, like your fave don't fuck up. To pimp a butterfly. Y'all not listening to that shit. The only time I ever hear motherfuckers ever bring that album up is I remember he was conflicted. That's the only time. Or oh he want a poster. That's the only time. Like for me. When I hear Kendrick, the only thing I really hear like them fans really bring up is that like, good kid, man, city. And that shit was amazing. But if we being honest, all the Kendrick albums are the same, except for good kid, man, city. They're all the same. They're all some type of going through some type of mental disorder, figuring myself out. I've come to a resolution. I'm back. I'll be around. I get it. Mental help is, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's, it's, it's up and down. But all the albums are the same. 
the overall theme of Kendrick albums are the same. Like, I get it. You're the boogeyman who takes antidepressants. I fucking get it. I respect it, but I'm not going to act like all of those fucking albums don't have the same theme. Like, you got to give it to him. Um, Cole has a fucking classic. Kendrick has a fucking classic. Drake has two classics. And he my fucking fave. You can't tell me he ain't got two classics. Nothing with the same and take care of them classics. Them classics. Go argue with your fucking uncle. Don't argue with me. Like, like when it comes to these experimental um albums, like I'll say this shit too. Um, Yeezus. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Yeezus is still garbage. It sucks. No, it didn't get better. It, it fucking sucks. It's a bad fucking sounding album. He tried to do too much. Still, what the fuck? 10 years later is garbage. I don't fuck with it. <clears throat> boo boo. And you, you know, just to be fair, just to be fair to, you know, to critique uh, some Drake albums. Um, For all your dogs, for all your dogs, uh, I kind of feel like Drake betrayed me. Hey, I know, I know. Hey, you don't belong to me, Drizzy. You don't belong to me. But I've been listening to you since I was in seventh grade. And when you made that motherfucking music for them little kids on For All The Dogs, damn. Damn, I felt betrayed. Damn, I felt like, why he ain't choose me? Damn. You ran with the TikTokers. I get it. I'm getting old. I'm t my time ticking. But damn. But then when you came and put out them extra songs on it, the shoe fits. The shoe fit for me on some of that shit. Mind your motherfucking tongue. Because we all ain't got it like that. Damn, bitch. But yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. Drake, Drake definitely didn't put out like like um more life. More life was a was a playlist. It was it was it was a couple of songs on more life I did not like. I did not like. For real. Uh, I said it with Cole. I, them two albums. I, I ain't gonna hold you. Kids on drugs. Kod. Man, I don't even think we. I don't even think we talk about that shit no more. I don't. Even, I think we just. I think we just accept the kids do drugs. I think we just let that shit ride, man. We just gonna we just gonna pray that the, they don't that the uh, grandkids don't come out through withdrawal. Uh, for your eyes only. Yeah, I already had to say what I said about that. I ain't gonna put myself back through that again. To pimp a butterfly. I can only be depressed for so long. I can only be depressed for so long before I do it. Come on, bro. Cut it out, Drake. Man, Drake is Drake, man. Drake gonna put out so much motherfucking music that it's gonna upset you here, then a year later it's gonna make you feel good again. And he gonna, it's so much, it's so, man, it's so, he's he's trying to explore and do so much. It's like, he, he the exception to the rule to a degree because it's like, uh, a jack of all trades is a master of none. Shit, he damn near a master of a lot of them. He my fave, though. He my fave. <laughs> He my fave. He my fave. Hey, I can't say too much, yo. He can't do too much wrong with me. But man, I just, I just, but I really want to just, you know, wrap this whole thing up to just say, you know, um, at the level that they at, everything, everything is easily to critique with them. They're the better three. Like they're Kendrick is so fucking polarizing and rap that you know he can go away for five years and come out it's kind of annoying to kind of come out and like drop a track to get everybody all fizzled up and we don't even know if you're going to be relevant and stay around and you got the old school 2090s lover rap guys like yeah 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 they gotta respond like this no the fuck they don't like they made it in the game doing what the fuck they wanted how they please they don't gotta follow kendrick fucking rules and you know it is what it is so it's just like Kendrick is so polarizing that it's like some people love it, some people find it annoying, some people like, yo, he makes really great substantive music. For me, I think a lot of other people feel the same way. It's like some of his music is just so hard to listen to. It's like, I don't want to have to keep fucking going through black trauma. I get enough black trauma watching fucking 50 cent shows. I get enough of black fucking trauma just living life. Like, oh my fucking God, I get it. I would like a real fucking escape to reality. That's why I, you don't know, enjoy anime and shit like that, basketball. Um, J. Cole, like, J. Cole, he truly is going out there like he wants to show that he can fucking rap to prove it, but it's like you can feel that he wants to prove it. And in the sense of that, it's like, mm, it kind of like hurts him because you shouldn't have to be telling me you want to prove it that bad. 
and Drake, because he's so nonchalant, he doesn't want to fucking prove it. He doesn't care. He gets his approval from himself. And in essence, it's like, when the fuck are you going to ever give us just a five, five, eight track, just all rap? I get it. You give us scary hours, but scary hours usually only have about three to four tracks and like maybe two. It's like, we're going to always want more. You know what he said, you know, um, they can never get enough until enough is enough. And then it's too much. I mean, so, yeah, man, I'm just telling you guys like this, you know, as a fan, we're just spectators. And the only thing we could do is watch. We don't get to decide for another person. It's their life to choose how they navigate the issues. Uh, check your bias. You're not helping your fucking fave by trying to make every other artist look short. Um, this ain't the fucking 2000s. This ain't the 90s. None of them are putting out an ether. It's not happening. It's not how rap work. Like, I get it. If you want to hear, like, ether, spin, revenge music, go listen to y Lil Dirt. Go listen to Young Boy. It ain't happening over here. Um, but yeah, you're just a fan. Let them navigate. Just cause I'm looking in your eyes don't mean shit. I still got my jewelry on while I'm deep in. I slip out the hotel room while you're sleeping. Never meant to do you wrong. Never meant to do you wrong. Never meant to do you wrong.